YouTube and welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey and as always appreciate you guys joining us today. We're going to do a little work on the Buick this afternoon. Uh, got a little universal battery hold down, battery mount I'm going to try to put in the car inside the battery box and then get the battery located. And I don't think that would be too big of a task, but probably trying to use something universal. I'm sure we'll have to make some type of modifications to that. Then we'll be able to get the battery box cover on there and seal it up solid. Also have this piece of heat shield that a buddy of mine had out in North Carolina, out in Charlotte. And got this from Kevin. I appreciate Kevin helping us out on this deal. Uh, he donated to the car. And we're going to try to get it on the transmission tunnel uh, there, right where the driver's foot would go normally. And, and this car would have had but actually did have one but it was rotten after sitting outside for i guess close to 20 something years or whatever but hey appreciate you guys joining us again fashion seat belt let's get right into it all right picked up a couple little cheap items up at the auto parts store and i was up there a while ago and my thinking is we can take this uh battery hold down bar here we about probably have to cut it and narrow it up to fit this optima battery but uh maybe narrow it that way and put a couple of washers and then we'll use these two j-bolt fasteners uh, i'm not sure may or may not use any of this i don't know we have to get in there and see obviously first thing i could get the tire off so we get in there and see what we have okay it goes hard for getting these big old things off thank god for the lift I'll tell you what Anytime something says universal, that's not a good sign. But, holy cow, I don't believe it. Holy cow, like it's made for. Well, I just did make this battery box large enough. Tell you what, we're starting to think I may scrap this whole idea. See, that's what happens when we start building stuff. I'm actually may come up with a different idea. Let me get right back with you. You know what I like about doing stuff like this is trying to figure out how to solve a problem. To be honest with you, I never liked the idea of using this stuff here. This is a race car, it's not a passenger car. So what I did, I got to think, let's, let's do it. Do it like a race car would be done. It is a race car, so let's go ahead and do it that way. So I went up to Home Depot. I love walking around Home Depot and looking at what they have as far as hardware so I can, uh, what I can try to use to solve a problem. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to draw this here. All right, this is our battery box, okay? I'll get you aside. This is our battery box. Here's our battery sitting in here. Got our plus or negative side here. Okay, what I'm going to do, I went up there and got one of these, uh, just a simple little gate latch type deal. Open it up here. And it's just a hinge, you know, you put a padlock through. What we're going to do, we're going to bend, we're going to bend this, we're going to cut this off and bend a 90 right here. And we're going to take this. We're going to mount it back here to the back wall like that. We'll bolt it through the front, up here in the front of the battery box. Then we'll have that little slot there. So after we put this 90 in there, we'll have this slot sticking out. Then we're going to take some one inch flat iron, flat bar. I'm going to put a 90 on it. And it'll do like this, it'll come like this. We'll bend down, then we'll have another 90 down here and it'll bolt through the bottom. So that way you can unbolt it from the bottom, lift it up and you can get it out of this corner up here. No, like you can lift it up, slide the battery enough, but this will lock it in place. This way a real race car would have been done. And you still have one bolt. We'll wrap it up in uh, rubber and stuff and uh, be a whole lot simpler. But uh, anyway, do things right, okay? Okay, 
now we got this cut. Now we're going to bend the 90 up here. Okay, there's our 90. Now this is going to mount against the front wall of the battery box. Now we got to get a piece of a uh, one inch that strap we have. We're going to put a 90 on it as well while we're here. Okay, we'll come back and we'll cut this excess off. As you can see now, this is going to be mounted to the front wall of the battery, or battery box. This will go in. This will slip in there. And like I say, we'll cut this down to, to size here. I had to have a little bit extra length so I could bend it. And it'll be that simple. So let's go back to the bandsaw and cut us a lip off here. Okay, now, try to beat before that thing starts vibrating again. There you go. That'll come out of there real easy. Oh, man. See what, we're gonna put on here our new work station. Okay, before I pull the battery out, I marked a pair on the front where that uh, piece right here is gonna go, that's the height it'll be. And uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put two quarter inch bolts through there with lock nuts on the backside. Uh, we wanna secure this really, really well. So we'll get this, uh, get, I get this drilled first and then we will uh, get it mounted. Okay, now see if I can find a couple quarter inch bolts. I'm just gonna bolt one side. That way it'll help me line up the other hole. So uh, we'll just do the left side first. Okay, you can see we just have to drill the other hole over there and uh, bolt it up. Then we'll be able to set our battery in. Then we'll mark the length of the bar for the top of the battery. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take our marker now and mark the top of the battery, or actually at the edge of the battery to where I know so I know where to bend this thing. Okay. So that's the distance here from the wall down to our edge of our battery. So we're gonna bend a 90 there. Okay, that's a pretty nice looking 90. So now you see what we're doing. Okay, so now we got that marked and we'll uh, just put a little bit of 90 on this now, going back the other way. And this is gonna look nice. Okay, that should fit and everything. Now we'll go with the, the uh, bandsaw, we'll cut it off so we'll have enough room to go and drill a hole and bolt it in. So uh, once we get some space on the bottom side on the front, so let me go ahead and get some rubber on this and uh, I'll show you what it ends up looking like. All right, this is what we ended up with. And it looks so much better than this piece here. This looks like something that was made for a race car. What I did, the whole theory is, I put this spacer up under here so that whenever you hook it in, that allows you to get it in and get it out. So. Let's see if we can do this one-handed here. We simply, you see our battery's pushed all the way back to the back. Simply go in here. I can't see, there we go. Anyway, then that bolt's down right there. So in case of a battery change real quick, you undo one bolt, pull it out. That's why you have a gap up there. Pretty sweet design, I'm very proud of it. Much better than doing something from a $5 piece. So all I have to do now is drill this and bolt it in on the bottom, and we will be good to go.
All right, man, that is gonna be sweet. So now we'll take everything back apart, get some rubber in there. The cool thing is, this is the inner tube out of one of the tires that was on this car when it was last race. Uh, back in 19, uh, 1992 at Rockingham. This is one of the inner tubes. They were still good, but I'm not gonna run inner tube or anything, so I cut them up. We're gonna use the inner tube, original inner tube for this car, uh, for the padding for this battery. Pretty cool. Recycling. Okay, we've got our protective rubber around the top spacer here. We'll slip everything in. All right. Man, that thing's not going anywhere. Now we can race it with this battery support. Well, guys, I can tell you that is pretty sweet. Uh, so much better than what we was gonna go with originally. Uh, this is nice. It can't go anywhere as near tight as a drum, and you can get the thing out in emergency real fast. Just undo one bolt there, and it'll slip out on its own. Everything's protected rubber-wise, so that's pretty cool. Very happy how that turned out. Looks a whole lot more professional than this does, doesn't it? <laughs> well... I hope you enjoyed that. And unfortunately, we're not gonna get to the heat shield today, but that's okay. I'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I came out here after work today and got a little bit done, but this is a major accomplishment getting this uh, battery uh, hold down done. That's another mark off the list to get this thing ready. So as always, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And we'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you, and you take care.